it is finally the first day of March and just just look at this terrain behind me. It's so beautiful, so calm, so quiet, so peaceful. Alright, welcome to my next vlog. So, pretty much, since I've been here in Colorado, the more I've been posting, the more I just wanted to revisit all my basic camera skills. And I feel like I'm a little bit more freshened up again. The one thing I noticed when looking back on all my YouTube videos, my color grading is inconsistent, sometimes bad, and even tacky. And I think I finally, last time I was here, I did a little bit of practice on a color grade I actually finally like. And a color grade that I think I might stick to now, for now on. And this is what this basically this color grade looks like. I found a version to free download from my camera of a uh, uncompressed video files so I can record, which basically allows you to get as much detail in a picture as possible when recording. And it also allows you for the best color grade you could possibly get. And I don't know, I color graded the last couple videos like that or the last couple practices, nothing I've posted yet. And hopefully in this video, I have that color grade and I, I like it a lot, honestly. Oh, I got dirt in my shoe. I got dirt in my shoe. Oh, crap. I'm not used to this, I'm from Wisconsin. There's not terrain like this that you usually see in Wisconsin. And speaking of color grading, I went on Amazon about last week and I bought this color checker sheet, which basically in post allows me to get the most accurate colors. And it potentially looks like this, which is basically just a little bit chart of different colors on the back. There's a gray card to check white balance. And I, I originally meant to buy this to color match in post all my single, all my different cameras because all the cameras have different ways they show color and I wanted it to be most color accurate and I want them all to match so it doesn't take away from the overall story I'm trying to create. However, the software I had to do that, I had to spend $100 so it'll be a little bit before I could color match all my videos. But this is useful on the back side, it is a great card which basically in post, if I take a little snapshot of this, it allows me to get the best white balance. So basically when I color edit, I have the most accurate colors. Also, one more thing that I have changed my videos is I just bought a 22 millimeter prime lens f2 which basically means it's no zoom it just stays at 22 millimeter focal length the whole time but whatever is in focus the background has a shallower depth of field and since it's an f2 it basically means it's a faster aperture which means it's better in low light which is the reason why I bought this is because I have more of a variety of ways I can use this in more circumstances. Like I could use it more at dawn, I could use it more in the daytime if I have an ND filter on, but I could also use it at nighttime to shoot some cinematic videos. And that's basically the reason why I bought it because the kit lens I have, which is a 15 to 45 millimeter f3.5 to 6.3 which means the aperture is a little bit slower which isn't as good in low light and that's one of the big problems i had is because a lot of my videos i do is in the evening and i just want that better range i can film in that's basically the idea and the reason why i went out with this lens plus it's 22 millimeters which is a little bit of a more zoomed in vlogging style than my 15 to 45 is i'm willing to get up that little bit of zoom for the better capabilities. All right, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much just the gist of it. But there's one more thing that I wanted to try to practice for my next several videos and I just wanna get a couple shots for practice so I can post. So, that concludes my video today. 
I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, tap that notification bell, and whatever you have to do just to watch my content. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it very much. Please share all my videos because that will help me to get put my, myself put out there even more. And once again, let's see you on the next video.